So we come to the end. But before we go, we want to do a little summation for all of you. And being the big nerd, or should I say indigenous nerd, that I am, if you couldn't tell by my great bling, we're going to take all of these folks and we are going to unmask them as their superhero selves. And so right now we say, TEDxABQ, assemble! As we think back on our day. First, we had Andrea Romero. Wow. Who we have unmasked as the Wrangler, bringing you fresh ostriches that you can take home and eat as a way that we can focus on sustainability in our meat eating habits and in our world. We have Bill Gutman, our space ace, who's going to get us closer to being able to touch the stars, just as I wanted to do when I was young, and I think as many of you have also dreamed about at night. Olivia Gatwood, La Poeta, who brought us beautiful words as stories, as poetry, as the ways to tell our words and share our life experiences with one another. Kina Murphy, our bio guardian, who gives us the chance that bio sustainability is ridiculously important and that we can all work together to it big and small, but that we have to make a change or else we will lose out on everything that we have. Janelle McCauley, the minder. She will make you mindful, watch out. And I hope she passed on a little bit of that today while we took our time breathing and being in the space with one another. Shae Lucero, the tolerationist, teaches us a little bit about tolerance, how we practice it, and how we practice resilience in everything that we do. And of course, Rick Allred, Dr. Crane, E-um, we hope you took the time to share in his journey by folding some of those cranes as he works towards those million and he continues to connect people all around the world. Boom. Tuesday Horner, the genie. The ways that we can engineer medicine and drugs based on our genes to make it much more compatible, healthier, direct, and hopefully create a new world in which we are all able to be healthy within our lives and ourselves. Rosalind Gallegos, Captain Quality, teaching us that quality is not something that we can hold on to, but it is about our communities. We can't do it ourselves. We have to do it together for this quality of life that we want. Valerie Aquino, Admiral Science. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, too late, too late. Science rocks! Teaching us that science are ways that we can bring into our lives to answer questions, to go, again connect us to one another. The fearless expressionator, Issa Niafaga, telling us that art is about being fearless and that it is a way that you can change lives, save lives, and create a better world. Henry Jake Foreman, the indigenizer, bringing us back to our traditions that connect us through education and health and equity and dignity. Ronen Polsky, the warlock of wear. Because it is magic, we got these little tiny devices that are going to be able to help us in our world. The future is now. Eyal Aaroni, Predictor X, who's going to bring this technology about predictions and what we can do to make society better when we have these opportunities and we can look at the things in front of us in the now. Dr. Barry Krakow, the Sandman, bringing better sleep to each and every one of us. Andrea Mamoli, Commander Electric, so we don't have to go without power. In this day and age, we have these types of crises. And we need to make sure that our families and our communities are safe. And having a better electrical grid, more sustainable, is something that can help that a long, long way. We have Julie Hendren, the drama empress, bringing words and beauty to the world. Much more than a queen, we have the empress in the house, y'all. 
And last but not least, we have all of our beautiful musicians that were up here. Starting way back at the beginning of the day, kicking us off Phoenix Avalon with beautiful music, talking about how that has formed through expression and time. We want to give a big shout out to Chatter, who is our wonderful instrumentalist. If you haven't got to Chatter, go out and get there because Chatter is amazing. It is a beautiful celebration on our Sunday mornings. The Dat, rocking it out with beats. The National Institute of Flamenco, teaching you a little bit of something about rhythm and your body. Round Mountain, bringing some beautiful spiritual heartfelt music. And Revoso, doing the same. This is your TEDx ABQ. We assemble all of these superheroes. Give them all a big round of applause. I have had the sincere honor and pleasure of being your MC today, and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for allowing me to be able to share this stage with all of you and all of these amazing superheroes as well. Thank you.